Good morning to all. Today we are going to discuss a new topic. You may be familiar with this topic. Okay. We will start this topic through a video. Let us watch the video first. What have you seen through that video? You seen many plants, vegetables, fruits, cattle, etc. Right? We saw through that video different diversity. Isn't it? So, our topic is reaping diversity. First of all, what is reaping diversity reaping diversity is a agricultural sector which help to earn better income to a scientific approach let us try to familiarize ourselves with a few farming methods that can be chosen on the basics of their nature and scope there are different agriculture sector animal husbandry sericulture apiculture mushroom culture floriculture horticulture and medicinal plant cultivation we can discuss about animal husbandry animal husbandry consists of livestock management poultry farming PC culture and cuniculture first we have discussed about livestock management rearing of cattle for milk meat and agriculture purpose are called livestock management important varieties of cattle cow jersey holstein wildcat buffalo murah nilavedi badhavedi goat talasheri jamuna pyari second one is poultry farming scientific rearing of birds for egg and meat are called poultry farming chicken varieties adulya gramalishmi white lagoon duck varieties muscovy chara chimbelli quill variety japanese pop white third one is pc culture the scientific way of rearing of fish in natural water bodies paddy fields or artificial tanks is pc culture varieties such as pearl pot rohu katla etc are related for food and gold fish guppy etc are related for ornamental purpose important prawn varieties related are naran kara fourth one is cuny culture scientific way of rearing of rabbits Varieties like grey kind, white kind, etc., are reared for meat. Angora is reared for fur. Livestock management, poultry farming, PC culture, and cuny culture are in the animal husbandry sector. 
and then second sector is sericulture sericulture is the rearing of silk worms for the production of natural silk silk is formed from the special glands of the larvae of the silk moth mulberry silk worm tarsal silk worm mocha silk worm etc are the major varieties third sector is apiculture scientific rearing of honey bees are called apiculture honey is a by product of medicinal and nutritional value varieties of honey bees like colan mellifera nodian etc are reared commonly fourth one is mushroom culture scientific way of growing mushrooms mushroom is a nutritious and tasty food item button mushroom that is palcon oyster mushroom that is chipicon etc are commonly cultivated mushroom varieties fifth sector is the floriculture cultivation of flowering plants on a commercial basis is called floriculture jasmine marigold chrysanthemum rose orchid and durian etc are flowers of commercial demand sixth sector is horticulture scientific cultivation of fruits and vegetables are called horticulture besides indigenous varieties exotic varieties like lychee rambutan durian etc are cultivated in our land seventh sector is medicinal plant cultivation the indian system of medicine ayurveda exists completely depending on medicinal plants the popularity of ayurveda and the destruction of natural ecosystem have raised the importance of medicinal plant cultivation basil aloe neem adathoda seeda vetivera eagle mamelos plumbago etc can be grown in our crop field uses of some medicinal plants are explained here uses of tulasi that is basil it's good for digestion and the inflammatory free radical activity skin benefits fry depression diabetes management next one uses of kuvalam the decoction made from the leaves of kuvalam is good for peptic ulcer it is used for the treatment of diabetes it can purify blood and cools the body it can be used for relief from infection jaundice etc the leaves are used for lowering blood pressure is the part of the lesson we talked today clear to everyone okay then let us recall some of the important points we have learned today we have discussed about different agricultural sectors yes the first one the animal husbandry the animal husbandry consists of livestock management poultry farming pisciculture and cuniculture livestock management the product is milk and meat varieties jersey talasheri murag second one poultry farming poultry farming consists of products are egg meat and skin varieties adulya chara japanese next one pisciculture pisciculture products are fish fish liver oil etc varieties are pearl spot rohu katla next one cuniculture cuniculture products are meat and fur varieties are ancora grey giant white giant 
nest sector sericulture products are silk thread varieties mulberry silk worm mocha silk worm tassel silk worm nest sector apiculture apiculture products are honey honey wax honey venom royal jelly etc varieties are colon mellifera nodian nest sector mushroom culture mushroom culture products edible mushrooms varieties are button mushroom oyster mushroom floriculture products are flowers the varieties are jasmine orchid anthurium etc next one horticulture horticulture are the production of different varieties of fruits and vegetables the varieties are lychee rambutan durian etc next one the medicinal plant cultivation different type of medicinal plants are produced through this sector and basil vetivera eagle mamelos plumbago etc are grown in the crop field okay you are familiar with the different agriculture sector clearly then let's you will have also watched the next video to recall study today thank you very much have a nice day